It's almost time. I hope I'm ready. Hi there. Welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. My name is Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. And normally I share crafting tutorials on how I made my different crafts. But recently I decided to attend my first craft show. And I've been doing a series of videos on uh, getting prepared for that, and uh, the show is actually just a couple of days away now. So, um, what I thought I would do in this video is just take you through kind of a quick time lapse of setting up my booth. You can see behind me here uh, is our dining room, and this is approximately what the tables will look like in my space. The room is about 10 by 10, which is the space, so it's the perfect little spot to set up my booth. The other thing I thought I would share with you after I have the booth set up is I was going to take you to a closer look at the products that I've made and also my pricing. Um, just to back up here a little bit, the show that I'm attending is um, the Recycle Santa Fe Art Festival. So I am going to be traveling to the show uh, and staying four nights in a hotel, so there are some expenses involved that I'm hoping to at least recoup, but I thought it was a good show for me to attend because it does just have artists that use recycled materials. So it's a three-day show, or two and a half. Uh, it goes Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, so it's kind of a longer stretch than most of your craft fairs, so I'm excited and a little bit nervous. Uh, the other thing that I decided to do in this video is to take you through, um, a, like I said, a close-up of my products and my pricing, which I'm feeling a little bit insecure about, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, but I was watching a lot of videos trying to kind of get some idea of what other people charge uh, and what they make and uh, how they did at shows. But people are a little, I think, a little reluctant to share what they're charging for things and what people are, are paying for things. Um, so, I don't know, you may think I'm charging way too much. Uh, if you do, you can let me know in the comments, but uh, please be kind. And uh, I'll let you know after the show how things went with my pricing. Um, I'm certainly looking at this as a learning experience. Um, so, without further ado, let's set up the booth. I guess I should clarify that this is an indoor show and they are providing the tables and what they're calling table skirts. So I'm assuming that the fronts of the tables and the ends of the tables will be covered to the ground. So my table covers here are just some canvas tarps that I bought from Harbor Freight. They're 9 by 6 so I'm not sure when I get to the show if I'll drape them over the table or just use them on the top of the table. But uh, they were $10 each, so that was just a little expense added to uh, the booth set up there. And all along I had planned to take the folding fence that you see here uh, to be able to display things a little bit more vertically. But at the last minute I found out that they are not going to have actual curtain dividers, which they had had at the show that I went to with my sister years of, in the years past. But apparently they're just going to have some tape on the floors. So I wanted to extend the height of my booth a little bit just to, to close it off and not have, you know, to block sort of the visual so that people kind of pause in your booth, hopefully, and don't just look on to the next one. So I was fortunate that I was able to use some PVC pipes that I had from a quilt frame that I made a few months ago. And I didn't have to recut the pieces or anything. I was just able to kind of assemble them and then I have two queen size sheets that I'm draping over the top that were uh, $15 each, so that was another $30 for my booth setup. But I did like that it added some kind of uh, wall sort of break from my booth, for my booth. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload new videos. I struggled a little bit with my logo because I knew that I wanted to have my logo in a couple of different places, 
and I wanted a fairly big banner with my logo on it, so I considered purchasing one. They are pretty affordable um, from different websites, but at the time I wasn't exactly sure whether I wanted a long banner or what I was, you know, what size I wanted, and I was also a little bit worried about the timing. So I ended up just making my own with some printable fabric sheets that I had on hand. So I don't think they're super expensive, but that was a cost that I didn't have to incur because I already had some of the products. And I thought about actually using iron-on transfer sheets, but I think that the color is better if, I, if you use the printable fabric sheets because you're just printing directly onto the fabric and you don't have to mirror the image that way either. So uh, I really like the fabric sheets and if you're interested in them, if you've never heard of them, you can use them right in your inkjet printer and I'll put a link into the comments of the, or the description box of this video. For my pricing signs and just some of my other labeling, I was able to borrow a lot of picture frames and I also used my Cricut cutting machine to cut out the stars just in the bright colors just to hopefully also help grab some attention. Alright, we're getting a closer view here and you kind of have to use your imagination on this section a little bit because my table is actually a little bit longer than the actual table will be when I get there. So this is kind of marking where my table ends. So this area will not have the table hanging over it and the little signage will be on top of the uh, sawhorse here. But this is just kind of my little kids area. I have some grab bags and then I have a free tin can project that you can just take a card and it'll take you to the blog post and the instructions. So that's that section. And then just in case you're not aware, I'm doing mostly tin can projects. So I'm doing a tin can tribute. I made some Christmas wreaths out of tin can and bed springs and they're individually priced between 45 and $55, I think. And then I also have the craft kits where you can assemble your own. It comes with the bed springs and the flattened tin can pieces uh, in three different designs for $35. I have some little, what I call bottle cap beads. They're just beer and soda bottles with a little pull tab in them so you could hang them off of something. And those are three for a dollar. I'm hoping to get a lot of people to sign up for my email, so I have a QR code for my, oops, you can't really see that very well, but I have a QR code and, you know, a request to sign up for the email. So here are some tin can earrings. Got quite a few of those. And I'm charging $15 a pair for those. Then I have these little wall propagation uh, hangers. They were actually featured in Green Craft Magazine, so that was exciting. Um, and I'm selling them for $25. There's a few more of them down here on the table. Then I made quite a few accent mirrors. Oops, I don't want to be in the shot. Um, <laughs> this particular one is one of the bigger ones, so I have it listed for $110. And some of the smaller ones are... Uh, as cheap as 25 Next, I have my tin can Christmas ornaments. They're um, three in the set, and I'm charging $15 for those. I have my tin can Christmas trees that are $20. The little bobblehead snowman for $15. And then I have some found object, found objects coasters that I made out of tin cans. Some of them have buttons on them. Uh, I did some with safety pins, washers, some different ideas. They're all kind of one-offs. Uh, then I have, and now I'm kind of moving out of the tin can area and into, I did a few aluminum can projects. So these dragonflies are made from aluminum cans and they're $20. Then I have these big hoop earrings that are also made from aluminum cans. 
just that top ring. And I also have some projects that were made with watch parts. So I have some watch face earrings that are $20. I made some pendant necklaces out of the watch parts that are $25. And then I also have some bracelets that you can make uh, into your own picture bracelets. They have uh, the backs already kind of are removed and there's some instructions on how to put your own pictures in there. And those are $45. And I have my silly little lamp here that I use, uh, that I made from the shades from the aluminum cans as well. And then I have some t-shirts that I'm selling for $20. They're just kind of one-off, uh, one-of-a-kind t-shirts. And I'm hoping to get a few more purses made. I have some crazy tin can purses that I'm going to sell. I'm not sure what the pricing on those are going to be. And then I have another large accent mirror down here. This is an eight hour show, so I am taking a folding chair with me because I'm assuming I'm going to want to sit down here and there. Uh, and I have a couple more wreaths hanging around. You can see my little cart here with my logo on it. And a couple of more Christmas wreaths here. And then I'm just going to take you around the back of my cart here. It's really handy because it uh, rolls very easily. I can kind of pull it in or push it out as, um, you know, to make the opening in my booth area bigger. But um, I just wanted to show you, I have a bin down here with a bunch of tools and things in there that I'm just going to take to the show. Uh, this middle shelf hopefully will have room for my purse, and I've got a water bottle there, my charging cords. I've got a little uh, notepad here just in case anybody wants to sign up for an email manually without having to do, use the QR code. And then this area is set up kind of like a nice little desk area. I've got some free buttons that I'm giving away. I've got some pens here if I need them, a couple of bags. Uh, if people want to take a bag for their items. This is my phone charger and I've got my square reader or for that device. And then I've also got the iPad for the square reader as well. The last thing I want to show you is my crazy little change box here. I do have an apron and a mask, because I think that the apron will come in very handy. And then I am taking a fair amount of change with me to the show. So there you have it. That's my quick tour of my booth mock-up. Now I just have to figure out how to get all of it in the car. Anyway, uh, the next time you see me, I will be on my way to the craft show. I'm hoping to do some live shots from the show and share some of that uh, experience with you. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in my craft show vendor series, you can click the link to that playlist or you can watch some of my tin can craft tutorials. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon back here in the lab.